What if I told you there were thousands of dollars worth of profit hiding in your local thrift stores? Well, today I'm gonna go digging in my local stores to try and find massive profits to sell on eBay. And we're already off to a flying start. This PS4 game, Extreme Legends, sells for $42 on eBay, and I've paid just the $4 for it in the thrift. We're trying to find stuff like this to sell on eBay for a really high profit today, guys. It's a huge episode of a trip to the thrift. Really cool to have you along for the ride today. Let's dive back into the first op shop, and I'll show you what else I'm picking up. I'm going to kick things off in my natural habitat, the shoe section, guys. $20 for these Nike Air Max 270 Reacts. Really good size, great colorway, and good condition. Let me know what you would have done in the comments below. I've got this one as well. This is the old cassette tape player, believe it or not, guys. They do still exist. We've got the Sanyo Z3 here. Uh, there's some pretty good comps for the one below, the model below, the Z2. So in the end, I actually passed on this one, and I, I probably regret it a little bit. Also got the PS4 games here. Talk about a rare find in the thrift. You never come across these. Now, we obviously spoke of the Extreme Legends game, but I've also found Need for Speed. Goes for about 18 bucks. Happy to pay it for just a $4 investment. Hey, uh, don't sleep on the hats. If you take anything away from this episode today, there is some significant money in the hat section. So this one was a really good one here, the Brixton hat for $4. I found a Ford racing hat for another 4 bucks as well. So there's some serious money, guys. Don't let that one go past you next time you're in the thrift. Hey, how about this for a DVD series? I was absolutely shocked by the comps that you're looking at right there. Now, depending on what episode you have. Now, I've got quite a few here. There's still significant money. $65 if you've got four years worth. Well, I've got about 15 years worth here, and I reckon the comp that you're looking at there is more about how much I reckon I can get. We're talking $100 for this DVD. And here's a really good brand in the golfing section that I wanted to have a chat to you about, guys. $100 on this polo shirt. Are you kidding? We've got Cutter and Buck. That's the brand to be looking out for. Now, $15 on this occasion, probably just a little bit too steep for me, but uh, definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. I definitely think a big lesson that I've learned this year is to pay up for items you know you can sell for a decent amount of money. So these Nike 270 Reacts are a perfect example. I remember at the start of the year when I was out thrifting, I would want to buy those shoes for about $5, maybe $10 at most. But now I'm at the point where I understand that I can sell them for $80 and therefore I'm still going to be able to get my $30 profit that I like to make with the shoes. It's not always about finding absolute dirt cheap pricing. It's more about finding quality and knowing what you can get for it. So. Happy to pick those up for 20. You guys thought so too. Let's keep charging. Here's a really quick way to turn a dollar into $15. Find yourself a Pokemon DVD and sell it on eBay. This one should turn into about 15 bucks pretty quickly, I dare say. I've got private practice here on DVD as well. Every single episode of this TV series, seasons one to six, but it is region two. So it'll only play in the USA and Canada. So it might take a little bit longer to sell. It is only $6. Let me know your thoughts. I've also got Arkham Horror here, the board game. Now, brand new sealed, goes for about 75 overseas, but this one was actually secondhand sealed. So therefore I did have to leave it behind. I've also got this one. How about this? We've got the Nintendo 64. There was no leaving this one behind. I was very happy to go ahead with the purchase when I saw the price tag on this one. We've got genuine Nintendo 64 tags there and just an $8 price tag, guys. I've also got this one as well, Dragon Ball Z. Anything in Dragon Ball Z, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up every single day of the week. This one was only the $10, but guess what? Brand new with tags as well. Original retail price there of $55. Should get about $35 with brand new tags there. That was a really cool grab. Also found this one as well. This is a really nice hoodie in a bit of anime sort of Japanese uh, branding as well. It was only the $8 price tag. It was My Hero Academia is, is the name of the show. So I'm not 100% sure of this. This is the first time I'm seeing it, but it was a really nice jumper at a really low price. I should be able to get 35 per the comps. And there was a second one hiding in there as well. So My Hero Academia, let me know if you've ever watched the show because uh, these hoodies were looking pretty cool and I was very happy to pick them up. A really interesting Instagram viewer poll question there with the Private Practice DVDs, the complete series. It was region two though, so it only plays in Canada and the USA. And they don't typically sell as well, but this is a complete series and it's only $6. And interestingly enough, you guys said to go ahead and cop it. Now, I'd actually left the op shop and I checked the results and I went back and bought it based on what you guys were saying. So thank you very much uh, for your thoughts on that one. But hopefully with a, a sold comp region two selling for about 70 to $80, I might be able to sell this one for about 50. All right, guys, Instagram viewer poll question to kick off op shop run number three. For $15, would you have bought this Levi Strauss pair of jeans? We've got the 514s, 36 waist, 32 length. I just dumbed an ad only solely on the price. Quality was definitely there. A shoe that I always love to find when I'm in the thrift. We've got the Hoka One One's not one. 
We've actually got two of them. And uh, look, the condition I'd say is probably about a 7 out of 10 on the soles there. They weren't the worst, and they definitely would have sold. You could probably sell these shoes, I reckon, pretty comfortably for about $100 in pre-owned condition if you can find them uh, on eBay. $55, look, it's, it didn't scare me off, but it was just the quality. Um, Tommy Bahama, speaking of quality, for $8, this is always something I'm going to pick up. Just a button-up long-sleeve men's shirt here, size medium, but this was an absolute cracker. We've got the Espanola. Uh, we've got the basketball jersey here this is an absolute cracker three dollars size large genuine merchandise an absolute an absolute steal really i reckon i could i actually don't even know how much i can turn this one into but I'm, i was never going to leave it lying on the shelf so i'm thinking off the top of my head maybe fifty dollars and then we've got this one as well just a staple we've got the uh the afl sydney swans three dollar uh, training singlet so that one should turn into about 25 to 30 free postage pretty much a standard uh, pickup for me. And then I've also found this one as well. We've got the Doc Martens. It's the stitching on the sole of the shoe that will get you every time. These aren't your standard sort of boot style, but they are still Mr. Doc Martens. So very happy to see these. However, I wasn't happy to see a $30 price tag and even more disappointed about the comps on eBay. Not a lot of money. All right, a very super interesting op shop run number three there. The Levi Strauss 514s. They were the deliberation. 15 bucks, it's a lot of money to be spending on a pair of jeans. And uh, the comps on eBay, though, were telling me about $50. So that's why I was a little bit curious. You guys did say to drop them, and I think that's because they are so common. You can generally find them for a little bit cheaper. Um, but I couldn't help myself. I picked them up for 15 bucks. So hopefully I can turn that into 50. Um, I've also found in that run the best find of the day that I'm going to hold on to the very end. So stick around. I'll show you that just before we finish up. We've got a pair of vintage Nike men's footy boots here. These can go for some serious money, just the $10 price tag. All was looking well until I did the sole test and uh, quickly got out of there after that. Also found these as well. We've got the Asics running shoes. They looked in great condition again until I turned the soles over. That's just too much wear for me. I can't be buying those for $15. I've got these as well, the Gel Nimbus 19s. Again, another great pair of shoes, but just a little bit too much wear on the soles. So a bit disappointing there, but I did pick these up for $2. They were a little bit ratty, I guess, but look, they're a really good band shoe. Blink-182, um, Tom DeLong, it's his brand. I'm a massive Blink-182 fan, so there was a bit of nostalgia in this purchase, but uh, for two bucks, I should be able to turn that into 35, even given the condition. I've got Pearl Azumi here. Now, I've sold these exact um, cycling shorts before. The cycling category is a really good one to be considering, guys. This is just four bucks. It was a size 2XL, and I've turned that into 35 in the past. A really good, uh, more up Upper, upper range um, Adidas men's footy boots here as well. For $15, I'll pick these up. If you can actually see the different color on the molded stud, that is what gave it away to me that they were more higher end. And sure enough, I should be able to get about 50. Absolutely nothing to consider for my problem with the plush. So that was kind of good to not have to worry about that. And then I dove into the DVDs in the VHS section. And I also found this as well. So this was um, volumes one to six. The TV show is a, a Lego series of Chima. I've never heard of it myself, but there were some pretty good comps on eBay. And having volumes one to six, I should be able to turn that into about $35. I did have to pay up and spend 12 to get it though. Midsummer Murders, this was $9 into $30, but I did leave that one behind. And then I found some Tommy Hilfiger as well, size large. Now premium linen, you should be able to get about $35 for this one. So I was kind of happy to find this for just the three bucks. So always have a dig in the clothing section and any sort of big major brand that you can find with linen, you'll generally get a little bit more money for. There was an Instagram viewer poll question as well around this driving force wireless steering wheel from Logitech for $40. Wasn't sure if it was worth it, let me know. Well, the Logitech steering wheel, you guys have unanimously said, Matt, put that one back on the shelf, 40 bucks, what are you thinking? And the reason why I was looking at that one was because the, the gear pedals and the steering wheel went for about three to $400. So I was really curious, but obviously this one just being the steering wheel, it just wasn't worth that much. Um, my 30% clubbers that are still here sticking around to the end, I always like to reward you guys with my best find of the day. And this is what I've got. We've got the Panasonic. This is the VHS to DVD converter. And you're always looking for these in garage sales. Rarely do you find them in the thrift, but I have been able to find one today. I've paid just the $25. It converts the VHS through to the DVD. So a really impressive unit. It's got the remote control. It's got all of the cables. And at $25, there were comps on eBay for this guy for 135 bucks free postage. So when you take everything out of it, I'm anticipating to make about $80 for this one. So a really cool find. Like I said, I don't come across it too often in the thrift. So that was a really cool little get. Um, guys, we're up to 5,665 subs. 
at this very second. It would be really cool for Christmas time to hit the 6,000 sub mark. So we're only 325, 35 odd subs to go. Uh, it'd be awesome if you'd go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're here for the first time watching this video and you've enjoyed anything from it. Um, also too, if you missed last week's episode of A Trip to the Thrift, I'm gonna put it right here because there is a constant thrifty content on this channel and you don't wanna have missed last week's episode because it was a good one. Appreciate you being here guys. My 30% clubbers that stick to the end. You guys are the best. We'll see you soon.